Visuals make or break content and great content drives sales. Nowadays, more than ever, bad visuals equals a lack of profit in your business. And between you and me, I absolutely suck at graphics. It's never really been my thing at all. And while I am proficient at Canva, it's when it comes to those kind of like real designery type of things that, you know, I just fall flat on my face. That is until now. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a new tool that I'm after coming across that just gives you that little bit of extra edge that is just mighty. I love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this block of text into a massively eye-catching visual within the space of like, let's say, five to ten seconds. Think it's impossible? Well, let's have a look at it being done right now. So here's this simple little piece of text. All I'm going to do is basically this is how to do Twitter threads correctly. I'm just going to make it into, I've made it into five points. I'm just going to click this button here. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1000. Look at less than five seconds and I have this visual created. Now, what you're going to notice down the side here is you've got lots and lots of different designs that you can utilize with this. But that's how simple it is to create these visuals. Now, let's get into this properly. You know, if you're sick of throwing hours into content that nobody really even looks at or engage with, it can be massively, massively frustrating. And that's the nightmare for bloggers, content creators, online entrepreneurs. It's that engagement factor that we all miss out on. And here's the thing, it's that engagement factor that makes or breaks your business. It's the stuff that turns kind of casual browsers or visitors to your websites into profit. You know, I've been there. I've been staring at these websites, at these blocks of text that I didn't even want to read. You've been there too. How does it make you feel? It makes you feel kind of like confused. It makes you go, oh, I want to leave here. But then I found this tool during my research. And instead of trying to make images on Canva that kind of pop and that make my content feel like it's absolutely awesome and that I spent lots of money on a graphic designer, this does it for me in absolute seconds. And the best part is, it is stupidly simple. Like, really, it is, it is that simple to use. So if you're ready to stop being invisible and start turning visitors into cold, hard cash, then this video is exactly what you need to actually look at. And the first one that I'm going to show you is how to turn your blog posts or your content posts, your articles, into conversion machines. Because here's the truth. If information is too difficult to understand, people leave. They don't convert. It's as simple as that. Okay, so let's look at this first one. Graphics. Turn one of our articles into, um, into a graphic here. Okay, so all we do is we're going to grab the, grab the content here. Okay, we're going to come back over to Napkin AI and we're just going to put new napkin and we're going to click blank napkin. I'm going to just paste the content in here and I'm just going to grab all this. I'm just going to copy this just down like this. Okay, and then I'm just going to press this button again. And I'm going to let it go and do its magic for me. It's gone and it's created kind of different styles for me to use. So potentially this one here. And then once you've got this, once you're in here, you can change the kind of style to match what it is, the colors that you want within here. So this was about creating uh, images, okay? Or this was about creating headlines. Then you kind of go understand your readers, identify SEO terms, creating refined headlines, adding emotional appeal, and crafting the final version. Now, the great thing about that, if you had that within your piece of content, then underneath that, because the person is even, even able to understand the content, that's a great place to have something like a conversion element, like download this checklist right now, okay? Or something along those lines. So you're helping get people onto your email list as well. And now, what did you think of that? It was so simple to actually add those elements into our blog post. But what about we wanted to create an infographic? Okay, what about we wanted to actually take something and turn it into an infographic? It's okay creating one piece of content, okay, or one graphical element. But how about we wanted to make an infographic as well? How, do, how are we going to do that? So again, we're just going to grab this whole article. 
and we're going to utilize ChatGPT for this, okay? So you can utilize whichever artificial intelligence you're using at the moment, okay? And all we're going to do is we're going to come over. I've got a little prompt here. I'm going to paste that text into here. And the prompt basically says, which I'll leave down below for you, it says, break this article down to, into as many unique sections as possible that highlight different elements of the process. Each point must include at least three separate points, okay? And we're going to press enter. And the reason that I say it must include at least three separate points is because napkin in itself works best when it has three to four points. If you start to go over three to four points or five or six points or something like that, I think it just doesn't give you the same kind of quality as if you have three to four points, okay? So let's scroll down and let's see what ChatGPT has actually given us here, okay? So brilliant, it's broken down our introduction, the science behind effective headlines, okay? So let's grab this one here, okay? We're gonna grab this, we come back over to the napkin, and we're just gonna paste that in here. And again, we know how to do this now. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna snooze this over here. And then next of all, what it's going to do is it's going to give us our styles. Okay, so I quite like this here. So let's say that we wanted to use this. Now, you can change the icons in here if you want. As you can see, you can choose which different icon and say that you wanted to use this icon in here. You could change that. Again, if you wanted to change the colors of things, you can change the colors of things in here as well. You just click on what it is and you want to change it. Let's say you wanted to change the text, you wanted to in break, you can just, I'm just going to put impact back in there again. But everything in itself in here is editable for you. So all you're going to do here is you're just going to click export. I'm going to put it on a, a, a clear background and we're just going to click download. Now we're going to utilize this in conjunction with Canva. Okay. So we're just going to come over to Canva. And we're just going to click create design. And because I've been creating infographics with it, I'm just going to click infographic. And the great thing about Canva does have some beautiful, infra beautiful infographics. This here, this gives you the ability to create your own kind of stylish inter infographics that potentially you like. Okay. Here's our first part of our element here. And again, you know, with Canva, like if you wanted to delete any of the elements in there, or maybe you want to add a title, a bigger title that said basically crafting compelling headlines, etc. Then you've got this and you can explain some bits more, etc. or whatever it was. Then all we're going to do is we're going to go to the next one, the psychology of attention grabbing headlines. We'll go back over to the napkin. We can pop our content in here. And again, we're just going to put this here. And it's going to go through and it's going to actually find these things for us again. So again, when we're using, when we're creating these infographics, we don't want to be using the same kind of um, content again. So again, we're just going to use this. We're going to order the same kind of images again. We're just going to download it. Again, as I said, you can use kind of different styles, colors, all of these. Choose the ones that reflect your brand. And the reason that we create infographics is because infographics in themselves are massively shareable, okay? People love infographics, and when you put an infographic into your content, it just adds an extra layer of, you know, shareability to your content. And because Google is screwing us all at the moment, we need to be able to put our content onto as many different places as possible. Now, while I'm going through this extremely quickly, I want you to take your time. And instead of spending hundreds of dollars kind of, you know, to try and actually get something created, you can actually get it done. You can do it yourself for free because infographic creators are notoriously expensive. I, actually, they're price prohibitive. Okay, so you can put your, your, your next bit in there or whatever it actually was, and then you create, create your great infographics in there as well. And then when you have that, put it up onto your website, put it up onto the likes of Pinterest, then make it into a PDF, do all those different things with it as well, and actually make it shareable on your website as well. So infographics is another great thing that you can do with napkin ai so make sure that you're actually doing it and then there's the point of where we have our ebooks and our lead magnets because when we got these 
One of the most important things about having an, e an ebook or a lead magnet is that we get people to consume that content. If they don't consume the content, then what happens? Well, then they don't get to understand how valuable the information that you're sharing actually is. These types of content, these types of images and visuals help people consume your content in a much easier way because it's easier to understand. It breaks up detailed text and makes you kind of makes your content flow. So the next one that we're going to do is for our ebook or our lead magnet. Okay. And before I want you to make a note of this. Okay. Make a note in your head. Okay. When you're doing these, especially with, um, napkin AI at the moment, look at try not to go over six points. Okay. I know I said best results, you get three or four, try not to go over six. Okay. All right. So here I've got is a formula. Okay. Now, this formula in itself is a six point formula. And what it basically is, is the six point email formula. Okay. So all I'm going to do basically is I'm going to come over to napkin. I'm going to call it the email conversion marketing. It talks about first three sentences that we use, a call to action, bullet points, call to action again, sign off and the PS. Okay. And then next of all, I'm just going to convert this into um, our graphic here. Come back here. Eventually, I'm going to delete this out of here, move this up to here, and then I might put this down here. Okay, bring it down a little bit, come back over the napkin and see what it's basically done for us here. I quite like that. I think that's lovely. You could change the colors of this again. All right, so we know that we can go in and we can actually change kind of the different elements and the colors, etc. Let's say we wanted this, this green kind of element in there as well. Once we're happy with it, we're just going to download it. Okay. And again, going to copy this image. We're going to bring it back over to my ebook and we're just going to paste it into the ebook here. Okay. Now I probably should have changed the, the background writing to black color itself, but what we have now is we've got the formula breaks it down nice and easy for a person to actually see. Then you've got the points in underneath it as well. Okay. So you're simplifying processes for your people. When you simplify those processes for your people, it makes people easier to understand what is actually being said. And then basically you, well, look, at it. you convert more people, you get more people reading your content, which means that they like your content, which means that there is a higher chance of them actually purchasing from you, which is what we all want, isn't it? And finally, what we're going to look at is how we can actually utilize this in presentations so that we can turn boring presentation slides into actual exciting slides that are interesting to look at and that make people understand the concept you're trying to explain to them over something like a webinar. We're going to turn some stats or data basically from a presentation slide to make it look kind of nice, okay? So here is a, a slide that I've been working on in terms of artificial intelligence and its usage within um, online business. And again, we're just going to come over to napkin. I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. And uh, what was the title to that? Uh, AI today. Let's just call it AI today. AI today in business. Okay. We're going to do that. Again, super, super simple. Same kind of thing again, guys. Look, I'm just showing you the same thing. Repetitive kind of bits here for you. Choose the style that it is that you want. Quite like this. This is kind of cool here. Let's say that we wanted this one. We're going to download this. Download it. And then all we're basically going to do is we would delete that out of there. And wait a second. Let's go back into our AI here element. Going to download it, going to open it, going to copy it, and we're going to put it into our AI business slide in here. And again, now I probably should have changed while well, I can change the background color of this again. So let's change the background color here, turn it to green. Okay. And then next of all, what we've got is we've got a lovely slide that basically it, well, you can see it's a lot different. It's a lot better looking than points, isn't it? So look at, there you go. So easy. A couple of different use cases that you can use Napkin AI for there for yourself. So anyway, guys, my name has been Kieran Doyle. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed this tool, Napkin AI as well. 
And if you have, make sure that you give this video a like. And if you're new here, a subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Also, don't forget, you've got the free affiliate training that is down below for you as well. So I will speak to you in the next video.